All right. Well, welcome to the November uh, Sec IC meeting. This is officially our year down. It's because you're sitting right in front of it. I mean, if it sounds bad, yell at Matt. He'll change it. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, so this is officially our year. Uh, November 17th was our first uh, conglomeration and submission of paperwork and everything. So welcome to the year, the year party. Um, technically, next month would be our annual for meetings, but we're not going to have one next month, and we'll get to that. But what is Sec IC? We are a city sec, um, an unaffiliated collection of informal meetups of like-minded security professionals. Uh, we meet to discuss um, anything from uh, network, uh, business, information security, uh, physical security, you know, anything, anything revolving around that kind of stuff. Um, computers and computer things. We meet monthly on the fourth, win fourth Wednesday of every month right here, and we are a 501c3, full nonprofit. Disclaimer, um, we like to keep things PG-13, so, you know, try and minimize F-bombs, yada, yada, yada. Um, we are a security um, meetup, so we talk about things that aren't necessarily always legal, but this is for educational purposes. Um, if you do anything illegal, that's your problem, not ours. Uh, don't try and take anything that you learn here and do illegal stuff. That's dumb. It's bad. Um, outside of that, our code of conduct, don't be a jerk. Um, you know, kind of, kind of Bill and Ted rules, be excellent to each other. Um, if you have a problem, see one of the board members, we'll point, point them out here in a little bit. Um, you know, be cool. Challenge ideals, ideas, not people. Um, we stole this from SecDSM, who in turn stole it from SecKC. Um, we're all opinionated folks, right? We all work in, in the same industry, so we might not all have the same ideas. When we challenge each other, let's challenge those ideas and not the people making those you know, statements, opinions, facts. That's what it's really all about. Business in the front, party in the back. So we got booze and pop in the back. Uh, pizza over here, and then the business up here. Um, we have had some complaints about talking during uh, uh, presentations, so if you do plan to carry on conversations, try and take it as far back as possible, or preferably downstairs. Um, you know, it, just common courtesy. We're in kind of an awkward space. It's all brick. Sound bounces hard here. Um, bathrooms in the back, female on the left, stage left. Uh, males on the right, you can co-mingle. I mean, that's your problem. Sponsorship opportunities. We do not have a sponsor this month. So if you know somebody that's looking to get rid of uh, some money to donate to a 501c3, do that. Tell them. We like it. It keeps us running. Agenda for tonight. You're uh, in the middle of the 101. Then we got Matt coming up for the news. Uh, DePape. Matt Breton's going to give the first talk. Actually, we didn't talk about order. So, surprise. Matt's giving the first talk. <laughs> uh, splunk like a boss. <laughs> it's a four-hour thing, man. Um, Brandon Murphy. Ooh, that is a little high. Uh, Brandon Murphy will be in the middle uh, doing Maldoc analysis with Yara. And Greg will be uh, coming up at the end. We gave him that time to finish the talk. Uh, but it's rapid red team infrastructure. Uh, next month's meeting, we're not having one. It falls on December 26th. I'm not going to be here. <laughs> My wife is not going to let me be here. So I think a lot of people are going to be in that same, same boat, you know, day after Christmas. We want you. We do. We need people to give talks, right? Um, without you guys coming up here um, and talking, it's just going to be us all the time giving the same, same five people talking about the same stuff. We all have our own little pigeonholes that we live in. So we can teach you stuff, but you're going to get sick of us pretty quick. Uh, come give a talk. It doesn't have to be DEF CON level, groundbreaking, you know, revealing O days. Just share something cool that you learned. 15 minutes, do a tool talk, uh, you know, anything like that. Who is our board? So this is us. Um, again, back to the, the code of conduct. If someone's bugging you, come chat with one of us. Um, it's the first time in a while the entire board's been here, actually. We're, we're all here. I mean, Brandon's in the bathroom, but whatever. Web, website, secic.org. Contact, secic if you want to email us, give us suggestions. 
feedback, yell at us, whatever. We are sec underscore IC on Twitter because somebody else has sec IC who hasn't ever tweeted and Twitter doesn't care. And we have a bit.ly uh, bit link for YouTube. Um, hopefully that'll change soon. But yeah. Oh yeah. I think if you Google sec IC, we're pretty dang close to, we're getting, we're, we're getting to be pretty cool. Talk to us on Slack. So we now have over 100 people. I think there was 104 this morning when I checked. Um, InfoSec professionals and hobbyists and everyone in between. Um, fun place to just chat about nerdy stuff or, you know, learn about upcoming events. Whole nine yards. Um, go to secic.org, scroll down. There's a Slack link on the bottom. Just click on that, fill out the form to uh, get an email link and you'll get an email link. And then, I don't know, question marks profit. Upcoming cons, uh, I left Wild West up here because I'm on a humble brag. Uh, it's done, but we, we won the CTF uh, along with SecDSM. Uh, Greg and I participated in the team. Um, one of the awesome things there is they gave every participating member a black badge instead of just one for the team. So we got five all together. Um, one went to Missy and Coldwell. Um, and that's hers, but the rest are split up between SecDSM and SecIC. So we now have five in total, right? Yeah, that's awesome. Uh, B-Side's coming up early next year, uh, April 13th. Uh, are you guys doing an after party, Greg? Yeah, probably. Um, so, you know, easy. <laughs> easy overnight, just down the street. Um, Circle City Con's coming up too. Um, and then as they start releasing over the, over the course of next year, we'll, oh, 420, nice. <laughs> I got a lot of stuff going on. <laughs> Dave's not here, man. Um, so I added Sec IC to the board officially on this one, but Sec DSM and Sec IC conference scholarships. Um, I think, you know, we didn't really confirm this, but there was some back and forth on the black badges at, at Wild West. And I think one of the things they, they looked into was who was going to be winning it because they know the background story. They talked to Tom last year. Any black badges that we win as Sec IC or Sec DSM, they're rolled into a scholarship pool. So anybody that doesn't have the funding or the backing to get out to a, a conference, you can apply on secdsm.org slash scholarship for a black badge to use for yourself. So you can take that black badge and get free access to that conference uh, in lieu of a ticket, which is really awesome. I mean, I, I'm very proud to be taking part in that. I think it's really neat. So yeah, if you want to go to cons, sign up. We got a couple of the bottom left-hand corner there. They'll be coming eventually, I hope. Up next, Merchmonger, it me. So I'm just going to keep yapping at you. Uh, financial transparency report, Matt, uh, to pay will take over for that as well as news. And then gerbs. Kajit has coins if you have wares. So we have patches for sale for $5 in the corner. Um, we have stickers. Those are free to any new member. Grab a handful, grab a couple. Um, we don't have shirts back up online yet. We're going to figure that out, see what we want to do with them and get them back up. Um, we're going to go with uh, better quality shirts and then more variety, colors, variations, male, female fits, whatnot. Um, but while I do have this up, we do have a Smile account. So if you go to smile.amazon.com, 5% uh, of anything that you purchase gets rolled to us, which is nice. And that's 5% from Amazon, not from you. So Matt, Matt I'll take over now. Excuse me, it was like nine. I threw, I threw in another four over the uh, Cyber Monday. All right, can you hear me? There we go. Okay, so we're going to go over our, uh, the financial transparency. So last month, we ended with uh, $840. Our expenses were $140 on pizza, and then we spent $35 on AV equipment. Uh, the income that we had, we had $25 in donations. Uh, that was all done online. So if you want to donate online, you can do that. It's pretty simple. Just go to the website, click uh, donate, and go that route. Uh, like Zach said, uh, Amazon Smile, we received $10 from that. Uh, we had some AV equipment that 
didn't work out. So we ended up returning that. So we got a refund of $50. And then we also um, got a sp uh, sponsorship for uh, February of next year. So that's a total uh, increase of $300. So that puts the bank account at $1,140. And there's a graph of how it's been so far this year. If you have any questions, you can reach out to me. Again, if you want to buy a patch, they're $5, or you can donate in person or online. So let's go ahead and take a look at the news. So recently on Twitter, if you're on Twitter, I'm sure you've seen these. Um, there's been a lot of uh, Bitcoin scams going on. Uh, the, the new thing now is uh, been targeting sponsored and verified accounts. Uh, so as you can see, can you see the cursor? Nope. Uh, on the left image, you can see the Pantheon books. There's the little check mark. Uh, that means that they've been verified. And then on the right, you can see that uh, Target, uh, their account was taken over. And you can see that it was both um, sponsored and then also promoted. So it was almost like an advertisement. So I know everyone's getting sick of those, but that's been in the news and hopefully Twitter can figure that out and do something about it. And then there is the, the Bitcoin address and you can see that they uh, pulled in around $180,000. Yeah. Not that I'm aware of. Okay. Uh, secondly, uh, the second th uh, news item, uh, there was a account called Derp Trolling uh, about five years ago that was uh, launching DDoS attacks against different uh, gaming platforms and uh, companies. Uh, they ended up finding out who that person was. Uh, he was a Utah man? Yeah, Utah resident. His name was Austin uh, Thompson, and he's pled guilty to that. Uh, he faces a maximum penalty of 10 years and $250,000. Uh, I know this was a, a pretty big thing because when he was doing those attacks, uh, he was doing it like Lizard Squad, where they would do it right after Christmas. So when people had just gotten new gaming systems and they tried to get online, uh, their services were knocked out. Uh, the third item, so I know we've talked about this, I know SecDSM has talked about this, uh, Magecart. So what they uh, primarily focus on is a, uh, it's a digital skimmer basically for credit cards. And some researchers have found that there's actual multiple groups uh, doing this. And what one group, uh, th what they've classified as group three and group nine, and uh, group nine, what they're doing is they're actually loading their JavaScript and seeing if the other group's uh, JavaScript is there and then feeding it bad information. So they're, they're skimming the credit card. They, if they see that, uh, that jo other JavaScript's being loaded, um, they'll change the credit card uh, number so that other group has bad information and they, uh, they look worse on the, uh, when they try to sell that. Uh, you can kind of see the code in the bottom left, um, and then the actual skimming itself is on the right-hand side. Um, fourth, this was fairly new, so uh, Sennheiser, uh, they do a lot of um, sound hardware, like headphones, they're, they're pretty popular on that. Uh, they just released some software, and what it does is it installs a uh, trusted root CA, uh, but what they managed to do is they included the private key uh, with that. And so if you remember a few years back with Lenovo, the Superfish, uh, attackers would be able to uh, man in the middle um, traffic and whatnot. Uh, there has been an update for it. Uh, you can see that on the left-hand side the two files that were included with that, and then on the right, um, you can see that the password was just uh, Sennheiser CC. So hopefully uh, other companies, went, they'll see this and they don't follow suit of Lenovo and Sennheiser in the future. And then I'm sure everyone heard about this. So there was a uh, JavaScript library that was released um, through NPM. And what happened was is uh, a, a maintainer took over it 
and uh, did a commit and committed uh, s some new code that would basically uh, send look for wallets and send uh, those wallets and, and, and try and steal ba uh, cryptocurrencies. Uh, on the bottom left here, you can see the actual code itself. Uh, it was just a hex, so I copied it over. That was the top one is the uh, actual domain that, that was being sent to. And then it had a backup mechanism. If it couldn't reach the domain, that was the IP address. Um, I believe, uh, yeah, on the next page, you might ask, okay, how did they do it? Um, on the left-hand side, that Dominic, uh, he was the original maintainer of this. So he get, people were like, how, how did you let this happen? And if you can read it, he said, he emailed me and said I wanted to maintain the module, so I gave it to him. I don't get anything from maintaining this module, and I don't even use it anymore and haven't for years. No, I no longer have published rights to this m module on NPM. And then people were like, why don't you transfer it back, blah, blah, blah. And he's like, I can't anymore. He, he's the maintainer of it, whatnot. So one thing to keep in mind, third party, that the, the one of the, the, the main issues was this, is that this mod module had been around for a long time. Uh, this guy took it over, he committed his code, he did a few more commits hoping to bury that so people wouldn't see it. And then it, since it's been around, it's, it's pretty stable. There, has, there wasn't a need for any updates. People just assumed that it was clean. All right, uh, so finally uh, we have jobs. Is, uh, is there anybody looking for a job or is there anybody that has jobs available? Anybody? Brandon? Uh, so I work at Principal Financial Group in Des Moines. So sorry, but the job's in Des Moines. I think full remote's okay on two of them though. So yeah, I'm not actually the hiring manager, but uh, they're hiring for my old position, which is a threat intelligence analyst. Uh, it's a pretty fun job. You get a, get, get a lot of fun stuff. I've enjoyed it. Um, and then there's also a red team engineer. Uh, so if you have, ex they're looking for an experienced person in that role. So if you have any red team experience. Consider posting. Principal's a pretty cool place. It uh, has a lot of unique offerings and in in the variety of business that we operate in. You know, you can go work for a bank and a real estate company and a trading company and a 401k company all at the same place. And uh, you get a hack it all in that red team position. So it's pretty fun. Thanks. All right. Was there anybody else? Is there anybody looking for a job? Bueller, Bueller. Okay. And that's it. So talks are up next. We'll take a little break and then uh, we'll go ahead and I believe Matt's up first. <laughs>